Hi, my name is Joseph Hoy. This is my Tesla. I drive it to work every day in this car. And uh, I am a professor at Arizona State University. Let me just come out and then introduce you to my particular car. This is a Tesla. It is an electric car. It uh, is quite powerful. It can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in a time of 3.7 seconds. And to power that, you need a lot of batteries. Uh, in fact, there are almost 7,000 uh, AA size battery in this car that will store all together a total amount of 53 kilowatt hour of energy in these batteries. Also, it has a motor that can turn out about 285 uh, kilowatt of power, which corresponds to almost more than 350 horsepower uh, of energy. So it's a pretty powerful car, that's why it can accelerate so fast. And not only that, it's a very light car, even though the battery weighs about 1,000 pounds. Um, the total weight of the car is only about 2,700 pounds, because the car body is made out of uh, carbon fiber material, which makes it very, very light. Why am I talking about this? I want you to learn about electricity. Uh, through viewing some of the YouTube videos that I'm going to put online. The material is largely taken from a course that I teach, a similar course I teach at Arizona State University in the Department of Electrical, Computer and Energy Engineering. The course is about electric circuits. And I'm going to focus a little bit more on energy in this course. So, in this course, I'm going to start with talking about what electricity really is. I'm going to talk about the coulomb, which is the amount of electric charge. I'll talk about voltage, which is the field at which, in which the electron would operate. And also, I'll talk about current. I'll talk about power that is a product of current flowing through a voltage potential. And I'll talk about beyond this basic electrical unit, I'll talk about the individual electronic components. The first component I'm going to talk about would then be the capacitor, which is capable of storing, storing energy in an electric field. Now, the battery that you see in this car is a kind of capacitor, except that it would convert chemical energy into electrical energy. So in the studying of capacitor, I'll talk more about how chemical energy could be converted inside a battery into electrical energy in the form of voltage and also in the form of a current. Beyond that, I'll talk about the inductor, which is basically current flowing through conductors to generate an electric field, uh, to generate actually a magnetic field. Now the magnetic field, uh, as you are familiar with magnets, which I'm going to describe quite a bit about, is capable of attraction that allow you to move objects, and in this case here, the object being the Tesla electric car. So, we can store energy inside a magnetic field, and we can therefore convert electrical energy into kinetic energy through the generation of a magnetic field and through the attraction of magnets, and therefore move the car at such a high velocity. The third element that I would like to talk about would be the resistor. 
and the resistor impedes the current and it will generate waste heat in the process and you can see quite a bit of that resistance in the car for example flowing through the wire and also the current flowing through the chemical berries that would generate quite a bit of heat so heat is a byproduct of the conversion of electrical energy into thermal energy and you can see also here that there is a lot of coolant that is being cooled by the air conditioner up front in the car and this coolant would run through every berry of the 7,000 some berries in the car to cool it down so that they would not overheat. So these are the so-called chemical elements that we have, uh, 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 I mean electrical elements that we have, the inductors, the capacitors, as well as the resistor. Now, a major part of the course talk about how these elements can be connected together to form electrical circuits. For example, you can have a capacitor connected to a resistor, uh, the resistor being the flashlight of a light bulb and therefore can provide a flash of light, converting therefore electrical energy into optical uh, energy. Or on the other hand, you can have a, uh, a, 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 a battery that connect to basically a magnetic coil and then the drive uh, and which has also a resistive element. Now we call this first order circuit, or first order RC circuit, or first order LR circuit. And beyond the first order circuit, we're going to go into second order circuit. We are going to look at oscillations, because second order circuit can produce oscillations beyond damping. So, beyond studying first and second order circuit, we're going to look at the uh, time which uh, we're characterizing things in the time domain, we're going to characterize things also in the frequency domain. So we're going to look at frequency domain response of these electrical circuits. And we're going to spend quite a bit of time actually analyzing these electrical circuits. And towards the end, we're going to apply all these things together to understand how to design feedback systems and also how to design systems such as uh, a radio receiver uh, which has filters in them in order to filter out the signals that come in through the air as radio wave. And so I hope that you can participate and the course is organized in such a way that there would be an exercise towards the end of each uh, uh, video so that you will have to work through this exercise and if in case you do not get the answer, I would advise to go over the video once again until you get it before you move on to other exercises, uh, to other videos. And at, for uh, each of the so-called lesson, which consists of roughly four units of I call problems, uh, videos, uh, that you would also have an in-class exercise that you should have to you have to work out before you move on to the next lesson. I hope you enjoy this, and we will see you later in the other uh, videos.